Hi everyone, I'm James Saturnio and I'm happy to be here to present to you how to secure Zoom meetings with MobileIron UEM. So let's go ahead and get started. The reason why you're probably here is that you've heard about the recent Zoom bombing raid exploits that's been trending for the last several weeks on the internet. Pranksters are crashing public meetings and private teacher lectures by randomly guessing the Zoom meeting ID and password. The meeting ID is made up of 9, 10, or 11 digit numbers, and actual lecture or meeting attendees are actually posting their meeting IDs and these passwords to social media like Twitter and Reddit and onto Zoom Raid Discord servers where people can sign up to receive this information. Then uninvited internet trolls are disrupting Zoom meetings by exploiting the share screen feature and displaying pornographic or disturbing images to the unsuspecting attendees. MobileIron's unified endpoint management platform can manage and secure collaboration tools like Zoom and can help to mitigate Zoom bombing raid attacks. MobileIron can manage apps and tools from silently installing onto the device, provisioning security controls onto the app, securing any app content, and then removing the app and content if the device falls out of compliance on the managed mobile device, laptop or desktop on iOS, iPadOS, Android Enterprise, macOS, and Windows 10. Here are the Zoom meeting host tasks and practices. Require a meeting password. This is now enabled by default. Change to a strong password and not a PIN. Encrypt all meetings. Enable the waiting room, which is also uh, enabled by default now. If screen share is enabled, only allow the host to share. Lock meetings when everyone expected joins. Don't post any public links to your meetings. And don't post any actual or live stream any Zoom meetings onto social media. The meeting ID is displayed and there's um, privacy concerns with this. Here's a quick video on where to set some of these security controls within the Zoom settings. First, within the meeting settings, let's require a password for all meetings and only allow authenticated users to join these meetings. Then we'll make sure that encryption is enabled for all these meetings. Then looking at the share screen settings, you can either disable all screen sharing for all participants or only allow the host to share their screen. Then we'll look for the waiting room features where the host can allow only authorize participants into the meeting. Now within the recording sessions, authenticate and password protect all cloud recordings of the meeting. And that is it. Now here are the tasks the IT UEM administrator can configure using Mobile Iron UEM to secure the Zoom Cloud Meetings app on iOS, iPadOS, and Android Enterprise managed mobile devices, and the Zoom desktop client on macOS and Windows 10 laptops and desktop. The first task to perform for iOS, iPadOS, and Android Enterprise mobile devices is to add the latest Zoom Cloud Meetings apps directly from the iOS App Store or the Google Play Store. Now let's step through the iOS and iPadOS managed app configuration settings. The first key is force login with SSO, which is an integer type. This is where you can specify if you want to force users to log in to Zoom using single sign-on. And then you could set the SSO URL string. Basically it is the vanity URL used to log in using single sign-on. The next step is the meeting reminder. Again, it's an integer. 
and this is where you can specify if upcoming meeting reminders are enabled. And then you can sync meetings from the calendar. And then the last setting is you can turn off video camera when a user joins. An important thing is to make sure to select that the app is installed onto the device silently within the app distribution. Now here are the list of tasks that can be configured for Android Enterprise mobile devices and Mac OS and Windows 10 laptops and desktops. Android Enterprise actually has additional settings for the Zoom rooms as well, but these are the most common security settings for these platforms. First up is the general settings. First, disable the Google login option for SSO. Do the same for the Facebook login and then enable the email login option by setting the option to either zero or false to enable this option. Then set the email address domain that users can log in with. Then within the meeting settings, disable screen share when joining or starting a meeting. Disable an in-meeting chat and disable in-meeting file transfer that is sending or receiving files. Then you can disable local recording, then cloud recording, and then disable sending videos or receiving videos, and then disable mirroring of shared videos. Basically set this again to zero or false to disable. So here's how to deploy Android Enterprise using Mobile Iron UEM. Here is a screenshot for the Zoom Cloud Meetings app for Android Enterprise managed configuration. There are a lot of mandatory security settings. And also don't forget to enable silent install of this app onto an Android Enterprise device. Now let's move on to macOS and Windows 10 laptops and desktops. For both platforms, the macOS package installer file and the Windows 10 MSI installer file can both be downloaded directly from Zoom's websites. The links are provided in this presentation. First up is download the respective in installer files and then add them into the Mobile Iron Cloud UEM app catalog. Now let's move on to deploying the Zoom desktop client onto macOS laptops and desktops. I'm going to show you a really quick video following this that shows how to download the app and then upload it into the app catalog and then step through the configuration to silently install this app. And then we'll configure the plist within a custom configuration settings. So here's our Mobile Iron Cloud dashboard. We're going to go to the app catalog. And I've already downloaded the package installer, so I'm just going to add it as an in-house app for macOS laptops and desktops. So I'm going to drag it over, and it's going to be successfully added. Let's step through. I'm going to give the app a category of productivity. We'll move on. I'm going to go ahead and uh, drop a, an icon for the Zoom app into this setting. We're adding the screenshots. I'm going to delegate this app to all spaces. And I can either um, distribute the app to a custom set of users and groups, or in this case, I'm just going to set it to everyone. Now I'm going to actually install the app automatically onto the device. And I'm going to give it the highest install priority. Optionally, you can set up per app VPN for the Zoom client. It's not necessary because that connection is actually secure at this point. But you have the option of setting up per app VPN so that when the Zoom client is triggered, a VPN tunnel will be established. So now we'll go back and we see that the package is installer is 
actually in the app catalog. Now we're going to go and add a custom configuration to upload the special P list that provides all the security control settings for the Zoom app. And I'll share the contents of that P list and I can actually make the actual P list file available to you if you wish. Again, for the app distribution on devices, you can set it to custom or you can just set it to all devices. Now we can go back, double check the custom configuration that we set and all done. Again, here's a Mac OS close-up of that P list that we just used to configure the custom configuration. Here are a lot of the settings that can be set. The more important one is the ability to disable the screen share uh, feature in the client app. Now let's move on to deploying the Zoom desktop client to Windows 10 laptops and desktops. Here's a short video that shows you how to add the MSI installer file into the app catalog as an in-house app. I'm going to go ahead and drag the actual installer file into the app catalog, upload it. Then I'm going to set the MSI product code, which I'm going to share with you after this video. I'm going to add the command line that's used to quietly install or silently install this app onto a Windows 10 device. And then I'm going to give this uh, app the category of productivity. I'm going to drag the icon to the add screenshots page. And then I'm going to distribute this app either to a custom user or group setting or to everyone in this case. Then I'm going to silently install this application onto Windows 10 devices. And we're all done. Double check to make sure that the Zoom installer is actually added to the app catalog. It is. And then the next thing I'm going to do is actually add the ADMX template for Zoom into the GPO browser so that it appends these security settings as a group policy object onto the app when it's installed on a Windows 10 laptop or desktop. So here I've dragged the ADMX template into the GPO browser. Now you can see that the Zoom meetings have actually been added to the ADMX browser. Then I'm going to go into the configurations and actually set these security controls as a Windows 10 group policy object configuration. Here I'm going to go ahead and give this GPO setting a name. I'm going to go ahead and add some of these group policy objects, go into the machine settings, go into Zoom meetings, and then go and expand the Zoom meeting settings. And I'm only going to set one um, GPO here specifically for the share screen feature. I'm going to go ahead and enable it so that screen sharing is actually disabled on a Windows 10 device. And that is it. You can repeat the additional steps for the other security settings that you want to go ahead and configure as a group policy object for Windows 10. And here's what the app installer settings look like, specifically the MSI product code and then the command line to actually silently install this app on the Windows 10. And again, a close-up of Windows 10 and the actual group policy object configuration, in this case, for the share screen feature. But as you can see to the left, there are additional settings you can go ahead and enable also um, to secure your Windows 10 Zoom desktop client app. Here's a really quick video on what a Windows 10 Zoom attendee would see 
with some of these settings configured, specifically the waiting room feature and then disabling the screen share feature. I'm going to go ahead and log into a Zoom meeting and go ahead and be put into a waiting room waiting for the meeting host to admit me into the, the meeting. And once he's admitted me into the meeting, I'm not going to be able to do any screen sharing because this control has been disabled. And another quick video on a macOS laptop that shows you the ability to disable the Facebook and the Google single sign-on capability. The user doesn't know which uh, one to click on here. So within Mobile Iron UEM, we can actually just configure Mobile Iron as the single sign-on domain to log into the Zoom meeting. And after the plist gets pushed onto the macOS laptop, you can see here it's it's enabled. We're gonna fire up our Zoom. The single sign-on is set to Mobile Iron only. Thanks everyone for watching. Be safe, protect your family, and stay healthy. Thank you very much.